Hi, on this video, I'm going to talk about business layer in N layer application. First, let's create a database in SQL Server. In this database, we are going to create two tables, customer and order table. They are one to many relationship. One customer can have many orders. Let's create them. And here is the business layer uh, in N layer application. In this example, the business objects are decoupled to business uh, object project. It provides the ability to validate business object before save the change to database. Business rule class for validating property of business object. It records error message for the concrete business rule. Uh, it has an uh, abstracted validation method require the concrete uh, business rule class to implement uh, this method. Let's take a look the validate require uh, class. In this class, we are uh, making sure the business object uh, property name uh, of that object uh, must have a value. For example, the customer name ha has to have a value, cannot be empty and no. This is the business object base class. In this implements business rule infrastructure. Uh, in this validation, we look through each business rule and validate each of them. Let's take a look at the customer business object. In the constructor, we adding each rule by calling the app method that is in the business object base class. For example, we add the validation ID rule. In this validation ID rules, uh, we are validating the ID has to be bigger or equal to zero. And then we add the value they require name. That means the name has to have value. We add the value they name of the property name. And for testing purpose, we set the max value to be A. That means if the name is longer than the name length is longer than A. Uh, the validation will fail. Let's take a look this uh, validating link business rule. So this is what it looks like. We don't have any business rule added for the order. Okay, let's test run it. As we can see, the uh, data bonding works for the, in the presentation layer. And then to test the uh, model data link validation, we can 
go to add new customer and then to add a customer has long name like this one and then we click save and this file let's take a look at the detail the parameter name must be between 1 and A yep that's all thanks a lot for watching the video